This is myhorseclub.com. It's the first 3D multiplayer horse riding game on the internet. On this um, startup page, you can view what it in looks like inside the game. My stable, friends, paddock, and competition. If you want to join, just click register for free. And if you want to see a video, you can just click demonstration. Already a member, so I'll just sign in. <coughs> if you've already joined or you just joined, you can add my pony club, which is me as well. Okay, this is the home page. Your username, and you can sign out or enter a card code. Okay, so stable, paddock, riding, community, account, and eShop. So just click on stables. If you're a new player, you should go to the stable first. These 3D parts are run by Java. And make sure you have the correct type of Java or it won't work. It's a loading screen. Okay, this is the stables. It's very pretty, so <laughs> it's good to have this game. Oh, by the way, you don't have to download this game. Okay, so this is where your horses are. And you see this tab with the horse head. If you're a new player or a player who has just gotten a new horse, You'll find it here, and if you click on it, you can name it, but for all new players, your first horse will be called My Horse. This is My Horse. Okay, this isn't what he looks like at first, but you can get this type of coat, and you can get a bridle and other things. And this is what the coat colour of My Horse will originally look like. It's a nice colour and it's called Isabella. Okay, so this is where you'll just access your stables. You keep on seeing the double star, that's my brand name for my horses. Okay, so this is the paddock. Um, okay, it's loading. It's very quick, which is good. Alright, so here you'll see your own horses. Um, when you get a new horse, it will automatically add into the paddock and you can change it whenever you want. Alright, so I got my four horses here. This is a goat in the paddock. Um, you have to get that through the eShop. Um, the goat gives trust to horses and you would usually put horses that you don't usually ride to gain their trust. Okay, so it's really nice. You can just watch your horses for a little while. Okay, back to the stable. Um, if you just have one horse, you can just click Let's Ride and it will automatically go to the world. Alright, so here you can feed and clean your horses and if they're sick you can just click and you can do it there. Uh, the most common types of supplies that you can get are Cully and Poultice for the health needs, straw for cleaning, that's what it looks like. Um, quite nice so the more horses you have I must admit is more difficult to clean to take care of but that's um, okay if you can purchase all sorts of supplies okay so I'll just ride my best horse NPC's boy he's actually not that good compared to others but he's quite a good horse Ride an island. Um, island is the first world you will go to if you're a new player. 
You won't be able to access USA unless you are Gallop 8, which you earn by doing missions, which you will see soon. Okay, this is Ruid's Island. Okay, let me just customize. You can start in all sorts of places, so you'll get to learn all these places. Okay, there's no players right now, but um, I'll show you the map for... Okay, you can't really read it when it's small, but if you maximize it, you'll be able to see all of it. Okay, Greeny Village. Right now, I'm at Kilpatrick's Farm. And if you go up Hillside Ford and you continue, um, the best place for new players would be Johnson's Farm. It's a quite popular area. You can't access show jumping or cross country unless you're level 12. But most people don't usually get to level 12 quickly, so they access videos on how to get past. I have quite a few videos on how to get to show jumping. Not yet across country, but I might make some on that. Okay, so. Let me just ride for a little bit. So that's the world, so it's quite nice. For those new players who can't access USA yet, I'll just give you a sneak peek of what it will look like. Believe me, it's actually quite dull to me, but they have really good missions. Okay, this is the USA. Um, if you see this point, it's all of these type of north, south, east, and west. Um, west is an O, but I'm not sure why. Okay. This is the USA. Okay, if you leave your horse alone, he will eventually go onto idle mode, which should happen after about 30 seconds or so. I'll just um, show you what it looks like when it's an idle. So you can see your player and your horse, like, everywhere. It's quite nice. Slide it. <laughs> Okay, so this is what it looks like when it goes in idle. Yep, that's what it looks like. Just wiggle your mouse or go back to this. Okay, so that's riding in the world. Okay, the community next. Okay, you can watch the video made by Mindscape for my horse club quite good so I watched it first and decided to join okay so there's in the English forum there's a bit for welcoming you to my horse club getting started frequently asked questions and rules uh, general discussion horses and some more questions where you can post cards and trading and trekking club I find this horse is one the most entertaining for me Okay, so I have a few posts here, such as this one. What's your favourite horse and everything. It's quite fun, so all you have to do is just join and you can talk to other players. Okay, so that's the community and your ranking. 
Uh, most of them are French, which is quite something. And Aramac is Australian first. Okay, so you can see here all of the contestants in show jumping and cross country. So I'll just go to Australia. And you can see my pony club. I'm riding Sarah. It's my favourite horse. Okay, this is your account. They can access everything about you. All of your parts on date of birth and everything. And these are all your horses, so you can check on how they're going. I haven't been riding them too often, so some of them don't have quite good trust. Um, the more um, that you ride your horse, the better trust it has. Okay, so this is your inventory on everything you have in it. I have coats and all that stuff. Your statistics. It's how you're going and you're riding. So I've been registered for quite a few years. So that's all you have to do. Um, this is your gallop. And I'm level 12, halfway to 24. It's the highest level you can have, and I'm a Silver Star member. Okay, this is number of horses, boxes. I've got 19 horses. Number of friends and missions. You have your experience points, and it takes quite a while to get one level in the higher levels, but it's worth it. All your friends, and some of them haven't confirmed yet and it would say waiting such as this one and your guests you can invite anybody you want friends name email address it's quite good so make sure to ask people to join okay eShop there's many different parts to the eShop and it might be complicated at first okay your clops your clops will be what you earn when you take care of your horse and ride it. Promotional stuff, packs, single cards, Silver Star offers. Um, you have to be a Silver Star member to be able to access these things. Okay, you can buy credits in order to get all these things as well, which costs real money, but believe me, it's worth it. Okay, so that's all you have. And you can use your earned clops to get things to take care of your horses. Um, all those things. And in Silver Star offers, you can get many different things. Don't worry if you're a member that can't get credits. Then all you have to do is make yourself German and you'll be able to access this area. You can change your country status in my account and you'll be able to purchase these but they do take a while to save up so make sure you try. And that's all for my horseclub.com. Hope to see you on.